tell you about crime, but not what happens after someone is convicted. When individuals get out of jail, it can be a hard transition back to everyday life. It's tough, and tonight we're showing you a program that works with nonviolent convicted felons in Orleans Parish, both in and out of jail. And Lily Cummings shows us Docket Day. Docket Day. It's a time for Orleans Reentry Court participants to get together Thank you. and share what they're going through. Troy got a driver's license. Troy yes. got married. Yes, I bought a house. And he purchased a, a house. <laughs> Troy Barnes is one of 19 people in the program right now. So my conviction was convicted felon with felony possession of a firearm. Behind bars, Barnes heard about the program. Laura White was my sentencing judge at the time, and I asked my lawyer to ask her, can I take the reentry program? And people were looking at me saying, that's strange for you to want a program. But like I told them, I was out here, I was getting into trouble. So if I have an outlet to where I can get a certification and a career started properly, then let me go for it. He's done just that. Barnes is now a mechanic. The program requires those in jail to get their GED or high set, have a minimum of two vocational trades, go through a mentorship program and substance abuse treatment if necessary. Once on probation, participants must have stable housing and employment, get a driver's license, continue substance abuse or mental health treatment if necessary and commit to continuing education or professional development. Not to mention, show up to Docket Day every month. This re-entry program helped me plant my feet as a human being. Why do you say that? I didn't have structure. I was a loose cannon. I didn't care. So I was able to control my anger, also face it, and face my depression. I didn't know I had depression. We have mental health classes and things like that, and I really didn't know what PTSD was until I talked about my life. Barnes is poised to graduate from the program next month. Let's terminate his probation satisfactorily. as well. We were there as two men graduated earlier this month. For some, the transition from jail to everyday life isn't as easy. Where do you think you would be without this program? Honestly, dead. Russell Helton was arrested on drug charges. A judge referred him to the program. Definitely didn't want it at first, but finally, you know, decided to take it and definitely helped me. So I came home from Angola, was still clean for a couple months, relapsed, used for a little bit, and then they sent me to a, another DOC treatment program. With the reentry court's support, Helton says he's been clean since September and is about to start his own carpentry business. When individuals have resources, when they have opportunities, when they have people who care about them, uh, they can do well. As I told you earlier, not, not a single participant that we have has been rearrested. Orleans Parish Criminal District Court Judge Marcus DeLarge took over reentry court in 2021. DeLarge says the program was stifled by the pandemic, but now he wants to see it expand as New Orleans faces what he calls a crime wave. So society uh, should not uh, just throw these people away um, because they can uh, be productive members of society and I'm proven that they can. We a team, we family, you know that. Second chances preventing repeat arrests. Lily Cummings, Eyewitness News. So we have some more information on eligibility and how someone's referred into the program with this story online at WWLTV.com.